are the obstacles to having a healthy self-esteem? One of them is the internal critic. Most of us have that. And, and why do we even listen to that? Why do we put ourselves down and pay attention to that? Well, one of the reasons why is because sometimes that's reinforcing. If we don't try, then we can't fail. Other sources of poor self-esteem would be parenting errors, making thinking errors called cognitive distortions. So we're going to talk about those today. We're also going to talk about how we develop faulty and negative poor beliefs. We're going to find out what some of those are. We're going to find out how to detect them and how to replace them with thoughts and, and, and beliefs that make more sense, that are more rational, that help us feel better about ourselves. But since parents are the most powerful determinant of a child's self-esteem, we're going to talk about that.